Royalty has long captivated our imaginations with tales of beautiful princesses and charming princes. Yet, history unveils a darker side to the regal facade, a world where real-life rulers often resembled villains from storybooks. From deformed hunchbacks to crazed witches, the annals of history are replete with eccentric royals whose quirks and actions defy conventional norms. Whether these peculiar traits were inherent from birth or a result of the pressures of power, the strange behavior exhibited by certain royals leaves an indelible mark on the pages of history. Some displayed mere quirks, while others grappled with debilitating problems that rendered them unfit to rule their kingdoms. In today's video of seven of the most evil and bizarre royals throughout history, we delve into the depths of antiquity to unravel the mysteries surrounding these enigmatic figures. Let's begin. Number 7. Maria Eleonora of Brandenburg Her desperate attempts to secure a male heir led to disturbing actions. Maria Eleonora, Queen of Sweden, shared a common goal with many women of her time, to provide her husband, King Gustavus Adolphus, with a male heir. However, when she failed to fulfill this expectation, her mental state deteriorated drastically. In 1626, Maria Eleonora gave birth to a daughter, Christina, whom she immediately rejected, labeling her a monster. Disturbingly, it is said that Maria Eleonora attempted to harm Christina on multiple occasions, allegedly pushing her downstairs and dropping her. Following the death of King Gustavus, Maria Eleonora's descent into madness intensified. She refused to bury his body for over a year and slept beneath a hanging casket containing his heart. Her actions stand as a chilling testament to the lengths to which obsession and desperation can drive a person, even one of royal stature. Number 6. Nero, Emperor of Rome. Nero's reign marked by narcissism, cruelty, and decadence. Nero inherited a legacy of Machiavellian intrigue from his mother, Agrippina. Through cunning manipulation, she secured his ascent to the throne in 54 AD by orchestrating the demise of her husband-slash-uncle Claudius and positioning Nero as emperor. Once in power, Nero mirrored his mother's ruthlessness, eliminating anyone who posed a threat, including Agrippina herself and his wife Octavia. While Nero implemented some beneficial social and political reforms, his reign was marred by excess and brutality. He indulged in a hedonistic lifestyle, squandering vast sums on personal pleasures and eliminating any dissenting voices. The infamous Great Fire of Rome in 64 AD, which devastated 75% of the city, further tarnished Nero's reputation. Though there is debate over his involvement, Nero's response to the disaster, blaming Christians and initiating a period of oppression and torture of Christians in Rome. Additionally, Nero's personal life was characterized by erratic behavior. He married a man who resembled his deceased wife, whom he had murdered, forcing him to dress and behave like a woman, while maintaining a separate relationship with a slave in which Nero played the role of wife. This peculiar arrangement reflects Nero's capricious nature and disregard for societal norms. Nero's rule serves as a cautionary tale of the dangers of unchecked power and unchecked ambition, where narcissism and sadism reign supreme, leaving a legacy of tyranny and cruelty in their wake. Number 5. Elagabalus Royal Title, Emperor of Rome Elagabalus, ascending to the throne in 218 AD, emerges as a figure shrouded in infamy among Roman emperors. His reign, marked by depravity and sadism, stands as a testament to the depths of human cruelty. Here are just a few of the bizarre and grotesque acts attributed to Elagabalus. He subjected naked women to the indignity of being chained to chariots, forcing them to serve as beasts of burden while he whipped them mercilessly. During gladiator games, he introduced poisonous snakes into the arena, relishing in the chaos and panic as spectators succumbed to deadly bites. Guests at his lavish banquets faced a horrifying fate as they were bound to water wheels, left to drown slowly while Elagabalus looked on with perverse delight. In a twisted display of wealth and power, he callously hurled gold and silver from his balcony, goading commoners into deadly skirmishes over the precious metals. Lions and leopards roamed freely amidst his feasts, adding an element of danger and terror to the revelry. Elagabalus's governance was similarly erratic, as he appointed officials based on the size of their genitalia, disregarding merit and competence. When confronted with counsel advising moderation, Elagabalus responded with brutal violence, silencing dissent with lethal force. Elagabalus's reign serves as a chilling reminder of the depths of depravity that unchecked power can unleash, where sadism and excess reign supreme, leaving a trail of suffering and horror in their wake. Number 4. Princess Alexandra of Bavaria 
royal title, Princess of Bavaria. Princess Alexandra of Bavaria, at the tender age of 23, harbored a peculiar belief that she had swallowed an entire glass grand piano during her childhood. Convinced that any sudden movement would shatter the delicate instrument within her, she resorted to walking sideways through doorways and corridors to avoid potential damage. While this delusion has contributed to Alexandra's eccentric reputation, scholars speculate that she may have suffered from a psychological phenomenon known as the glass delusion. First documented by Robert Burton in his seminal work, The Anatomy of Melancholy, published in 1612, the glass delusion manifests as a belief that one's body is made of glass, rendering them fragile and susceptible to breakage. King Charles VI of France is another notable figure afflicted by this condition, though his belief centered on the fragility of his own body rather than ingestion of foreign objects. Number 3. Charles VI of France Charles VI ascended to the throne of France amidst a tumultuous era, but the chaos of his reign extended beyond the kingdom's borders to his own psyche. Following an initial bout of madness in 1392, characterized by fever and convulsions, Charles was plagued by recurring episodes of insanity for the remainder of his life. His erratic behavior, marked by paranoia and violent outbursts, rendered him a danger to those around him, necessitating frequent restraint. Neglecting his personal hygiene, he reached a point where he had to be forcibly cut out of his clothes. Most notably, Charles suffered from what is now known as the glass delusion, wherein he believed his body to be constructed of fragile glass. This delusion manifested intermittently, drastically altering his demeanor. In moments of lucidity, he embraced outdoor activities and athleticism, yet during episodes of the glass delusion, he remained immobile for hours on end, refusing to move out of fear of shattering. Charles's struggles with mental illness serve as a poignant reminder of the fragility of the human mind, even among those who wielded great power. His tale adds a unique dimension to the complexities of royal history, offering insight into the intersection of mental health and monarchy during a tumultuous period in French history. Number 2. Sado, Crown Prince of Korea Prince Sado's descent into cruelty and violence culminating in a tragic demise. Prince Sado, born in 1735, endured a harrowing upbringing under the watchful eye of his father, King Yongjo, which ultimately led to a life marred by madness and depravity. From a young age, Sado suffered from debilitating delusions and nightmares, which only intensified as he matured. His relentless pursuit of his father's approval drove him to the brink of insanity, exacerbated by King Yongjo's own erratic behavior and penchant for tormenting his son. Sado's descent into madness manifested in a series of perverse and violent acts. Despite his efforts to conceal his debauched lifestyle from his father, he indulged in hedonistic pursuits, including lavish orgies and illicit alcohol consumption. His rage knew no bounds, as he lashed out violently at those around him, leaving a trail of death and despair within the palace walls. His atrocities included the murder of a concubine, illicit relations with a nun, and even attempts to seduce his own sister. When King Yongjo discovered the extent of Sado's transgressions, he enacted a cruel and fatal punishment. Summoned to court, Sado was confined within a giant chest, where he perished from starvation after eight agonizing days. The tragic tale of Prince Sado serves as a sobering reminder of the destructive power of familial dysfunction and unchecked authority. His life, characterized by suffering and torment, stands as a cautionary tale of the consequences of unchecked cruelty and the devastating toll it can exact on even the highest echelons of royalty. And taking the first spot on today's video is Ivan the Terrible, Tsar of Russia. What was his unusual trait, you might ask? During his time, he instigated a brutal reign of terror, resulting in widespread executions. Even the fourth, the inaugural Tsar of a unified Russia, earned his infamous epithet through a reign marked by unbridled cruelty and paranoia. From his early years, Ivan exhibited violent tendencies, a consequence of the constant threats to his rule following the untimely deaths of his parents by his eighth birthday. Ascending to the throne of Muscovy in 1547, Ivan embarked on a relentless campaign of expansionism, ruthlessly annexing territories and eliminating all perceived threats to his authority. Following the death of his wife, Ivan descended into a profound depression that heralded a 24-year period of terror and bloodshed. Consolidating absolute power, he unleashed a wave of violence against dissenters, executing nobles who dared to oppose him and subjecting his own family to unspeakable cruelty. 
Notorious incidents include the severe beating of his daughter-in-law, resulting in a miscarriage, and the murder of his own son during a fit of rage. Legends surrounding Ivan's reign abound, including tales of his alleged blinding of the architect responsible for St. Basil's Cathedral to prevent the creation of any structure surpassing its beauty. Ivan the Terrible's legacy serves as a grim reminder of the destructive potential of absolute power unchecked by empathy or restraint. His reign stands as a dark chapter in Russian history, characterized by brutality and tyranny, leaving a lasting imprint on the annals of monarchy. And that'll do it for today's video on seven of some of the most evil and bizarre royals throughout history. If you've made it this far, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.